What's up? Creeper Sank, here's Chris, the Atari Creep. Welcome back to the Million Macabre as we start build on the Stranger Things Season 2. Demodog, Dart, Demogordon Spawn, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be this thingamajiggy here. And uh, yeah, so uh, enough yapping. Let me just start cutting on this bad boy. So we're dissecting as far down as I need you for right now. Um, there's really not much to talk about here aside from, you know, I just got to pull out the drum and clean up the ears and over here in the eyebrows. Um, I know once I have material on there that won't be as pronounced, but I'm afraid these eyebrows will still poke through. Because I'm not going to go too thick with the, with the material on the head. So, uh, happy little accident. Uh, when I was cutting the nose off, I cut it right to where it was just about to be hollow. And um, now I have all that material for whatever I use uh, to bulk up the head a little to grip onto. So that's pretty cool. I'm not digging where the head is right now, but we'll get to that here in a second. Um, let's get to this part here. Um, I know I originally said I was only going to cut off two vertebrae, but I figured it's a lot easier to remove more material on something like this than it is to add it back on. So I only did two. And the two I took off were actually connected to this part here. And um, they didn't look like the rest of these. They didn't have this pronounced top bone piece. So that's why I decided to lock those guys off rather than do one somewhere in the middle so I can connect these, you know, a little more easily. It would, would have been a lot easier, actually. But I really like the aesthetic of these. And I'm going to try to work them into the piece. But that said, there's nothing here for the vertebrae to grip onto. So, though I do like this, I think it's, it's almost good enough. I do want to go in just slightly shorter. So what I'm going to do is shave the top piece of this bone here off and just leave like the bottom half of it. Make a nice little table, a little seat. So it can go inside of this vertebrae area underneath, you know, on top of the, the uh, rib cage. And I can secure it in this way. And then once I have material on there and I have um, you know, the skin and all that, between that and all the glue I'm gonna use, it'll It'll, uh, you know, it'll be nice and secure. It's not going to come loose, I don't think. Um, the other thing with the head, let's go back to the head. This looks a lot, way too long for me. I'm pretty sure I just said that already. In a perfect world, what I'd be able to do is pop the head off, create a larger hole for this to slide about two vertebrae, and then just glop the inside with a ton of hot glue and lock it in place. And I'm hoping I can do that. I mean, of course, I'll have to shave some of these little intruding pieces of bone. Slip onto. But I don't want to do that until I have the main body put together because then you can get the full the full idea of where the head should be in response to the body and all that. So enough talking. Let me get back to work. So this is the part where I repeat myself for the hundredth time. I use my Dremel and I cleaned up the head. Cleaned up around the ears. I got rid of those real protruding eyebrows. I even cleaned up a little bit here on the mouth because it was, if you remember correctly, it was it was flaring out a little bit. So I gave it a nice uniform kind of somewhat, you know, look to it. Um, but I can't stress enough protection, eye protection and safety. Whenever you're using something like that, and I even only used a real low setting on my Dremel, uh, but still pieces were flying up at my face. And uh, 
yeah, I can't stress enough. Even if you're just going to notch off one little teeny thing with your Dremel, always take that extra minute to try to find your eye protection. Very important. So now let's um, let's get the uh, the body together. guys so this is where i'm going to call it quits for the day we got the basic stance and structure down uh two things you didn't see off camera um, but super glue didn't want to work here so hot glue to the rescue so i was able to get that situated and it's pretty solid now and i did trim a couple of rib you know a couple of ribs right here uh, where this knee was actually touching i did the other side just to make it even but once we put a muscle structure on there and skin it you know, you see it I'm already seeing that it's going to be tough to get around this thing, but you know, we'll figure it out. We always do. So to recap, we shortened the, the spine here. We shortened it up here in the neck area, and I'm really pleased with how that came out. Um, at first, I wasn't going to do it. I was like, yeah, it should be fine. But reference pictures proved otherwise. So I wanted to shorten it down so this can be a little more blunt in the transition and what have you. Um, the tail is adjustable, but I don't want to play with it too much right now because the glue. And there's, there's room for more glue, so I might just jam some more up the butt. And that's really all there is to that, guy. So thank you so much, as always, for watching. I'm really enjoying this. This one's going pretty smoothly and as it should, and it's fun. And, you know, I hope it's inspiring someone to go out there and just cut up something and put it together. Uh, this really is fun watching an idea come into physical form. So guys, go ahead and leave feedback down below. Thumbs up, thumbs down. All feedback to me is positive. When we come back, we're going to give it some muscle and some skin and hopefully some paint in the same video. And we'll call this one done and put it on the shelf. So guys, until next time, again, thank you so much for watching. Take care.